thank you to Tokyo Treat and Sakura Co. for sponsoring this video. It's time for me to get my bag. And I get it. If you don't care about the sponsor section, at least check out the comments for the discount code KAKA to get $5 off your first purchase for either of the boxes. But Tokyo Treat and Sakura Co. were nice enough to send us new boxes to check out. Let's see what they got for us today. Behold, the box for Tokyo Treat. It is an orange outline just like last month's one. And here comes a Sakura Co. coming in with like kind of like pink mahogany or reddish. For Tokyo Treat, this month's theme is called Tokyo Snackation. I did notice that compared to the previous month of boxes, this one has way more, I guess, conventional snacks. Some of the highlights include the Kit Kat Royal Milk Tea, which is always my favorite. That donut right there is also really good. Tokyo Shoyu Ramen, not gonna lie. Some of my favorites are just like the individual ramen packages that they provide, and I've just been like eating them <laughs> late at night whenever I'm really, really hungry. But definitely, my favorite's gonna be the Kit Kats, the soft donuts as well as the ramen for this month and for sakura Co's theme this month is called the traditions of tokyo tokyo is just not a modern metropolis it's got rich history that stretches back centuries that's why this month sakura Co invites you to step back in time into tokyo's edo period no not Rooney kenshin not stuff like that we're immersing ourselves into a timeless charm of traditional tokyo by savoring the authentic flavors of the city some of the highlights include the hinari azare the mizu warabi mochi mochi manaka some of the mochis are really good these snacks as well the corn potato you know chips and stuff like that's also well but this month's tableware here tokyo plate look at it look at it beautiful soccer code branding that's about it. Now, if you're still here, I applaud you with all I got, but technically you might have wasted your time. Why? Because I don't really make money off of you watching the sponsor section of this video. I make the money by you using the affiliate code to buy the product. And I get it. If you don't have a personal interest in this product, no one really likes getting pushed sponsored content in their face. However, I think these boxes could make great gifts for friends and family that wants to experience Japan at the comfort of their own home. And listen, trying to do content creation full time, it's pretty hard. But sponsorships like this along the way definitely does help. And you don't have to use the affiliate code. But if you're generous enough and you'd like to support me trying to do this full time, I would truly appreciate it if you would use the pinned comment affiliate code Kaka for five dollars off your first purchase now on to the anime reaction last episode was basically Silpha versus humpty dumpy dude this egg is so formidable it's like spinning so fast moving so quick eighth tier demon same tier as pazu and remember Silpha lost and said i need to get better and she was grinding hard and now she's using language family technique she's even copying what was that egg roll attack he did? Some kind of Tengu attack, right? She can see a demon's, you know, attack and copy it as well. And the sword. <laughs> the sword scabbard. The frilly things. <laughs> the author truly knows how to make anything erotic. This guy is a fucking coomer. What's gonna happen in today's episode? Maybe we're gonna get Guizami versus Lloyd. Let's begin today's reaction. So far? No. Oh, this is Jade. This is Jade backstory. The demon. Okay. Jade's looking really buff. This is when he was at the brink of insanity, right? Yeah. Because he tried. Because like over and over, wasn't he trying to kill himself? Then he got brought back because Kizarmi needed. I forget the exact details, but he was being pushed to the limits of his sanity, right? Who are you gonna lose to? Uh, this like nine year old boy. <laughs> I don't even know how old Lloyd is. <laughs> he died without saying it. He's 10? Okay. Gizarmid takes over. What did he say though? Hold up, hold up. There was a key word there. He said, it's over. So this isn't, I thought Jay just kind of lost the battle of wits or just like the testing his willpower, then he died and then Gizarmid took over. But it sounds like Jade prepped something in advance. Hello, Stinky Chief 24. Jade prepped something in advance and then was like, someone will take care of you. So maybe I'm still clinging on to false hope that happy ending, Jade comes back, you know, and then, you know, everybody's going to be happy, but ugh, I don't know, bro. No. What was he trying to do, right? I don't no. know. 
something so deeper no down. Here. They're hiding it. What are they hiding? My nah, that specific thing is gonna be his downfall because he overlooked this detail. <laughs> Humpty Dumpty! Whole ass fucking egg! So Jade's last words. That egg is fucked up. That's right. The egg was a good person before. <laughs> the, that's right. Humpty Dumpty did have a backstory. He, he was trying so hard. I remember there was a fucking backstory and then the demon took over. Aww. Yeah, wife and child. Please, enough lolly tears. It kills me when she cries. Yeah, exactly. They were hunted down, right? Before when she was an adventure or something? Huh? Fire attacks and water? Sun told you, and this is still single swordman style. Why is he biting it like that? Must. Yo, he's spamming these CGI spears, man. <laughs> They're penetrating this little boy's barrier. New attack? Whoa, 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 whoa. That's right. Almost like ethereal attack. She's just casually telling us all the fucking movesets while dodging us so easily. There is... Lloyd is not sweating at all. Bro, like, I... Maybe I'm overestimating Gizarme. I don't know. Because so far, I thought he'd be strong, but this whole time, he's not sweating the tone of his voice. He sounds like Makoto the most recent episode. He seems more annoyed, if anything, rather than desperation. <laughs> <laughs> I love these faces. <laughs> Those chibi faces, man. What's he doing? Now nah, that's a big boy punch. My drip. And now we're back to the present. Okay, talking about martial arts, when's Aru gonna show up? Maybe Aru will not be directly involved in the art, but at the very end, she'll show up for some comedic relief. Because a couple episodes ago, Aru was, you know, getting here, right? <laughs> where, 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 where? Okay. How do we count to Shadow Wolf? Wait, brain blast? Because the vision. Because vision. It was missed. The vision. Actually, I don't know anymore now. I'm not following, sorry. Oh. So it really was just vision. Oh. I thought it was just too obvious. So it's like. There was going to be something else, but it was just a vision. No way! Yeah, is... I don't know. I thought like he could like detect us, like sensing, but really, like in any any, uh, any other battle shown in show, that's like, oh, I can sense your key, I can sense your Reiatsu, but it's here. It's like, oh, I just can't see him anymore. Shit, what do I do? He really wants to use that sword. Bro, detect his mana or something. Whoa! Kagebushi no jutsu. Okay, we can just do this too. Dark dolls, dark dolls, right. We have the dolls. A bunch of little boys are stabbing us! Now be good, be good, be good. He could have simply swapped the dolls, right? The real one maybe didn't have the real sword, right? It could have been something like that. How does this look so cute and fucked at the same time? 
<laughs> They're just all chibi faces. Knives picking him. Bro has a sword in his fucking eye. It's so cute though. Where's the real one? No, I don't think that was the real one, man. You're getting baited. He's pretty happy that a little boy was managed to, you know, touch his body there. I'm just saying. When the real one goes away. Duh! Of course, dude! Come on! Above? To the side, never mind! It was just that easy. I I fell I fell for it too. Above? I, I was following his leads, but it's like nah, 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 I was right beside you the entire time, dumbass. Doesn't do much damage though, does it? There's so many! He can he just heal though? Whoa, already intermission scene? How the fuck has it been 11 minutes already? How are we halfway in through the fucking episode? Did we not just start? What the fuck is going on? Holy shit! Ooh. I love how like the vision is obscured by these little kid clones, but like they're so tiny, right? They're 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 they're, they're like this size, but like we are also that size, so I guess it is easy to hide behind. It's just like you know <laughs> the vision being obscured. This is this fucking level, bro. There 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 he is. This might be thumbnail. What did he say? What did he say? Hold up. Okay. This plan. Okay. It sounds like the sword is the key to defeating him, huh? It sounds like the sword is the key to defeating him, huh? Somehow, like, because the fucking demon doesn't take any damage, it just regenerates. But there's gotta be something we can do with the sword. <laughs> Yeah, just hit them all with the spears, easy. There's a real one! Baited! Bro, that's 0 for 2 now. I don't know, mind games! Maybe the next one's real! This is kind of embarrassing if you think about it, huh? Cause he's like, I am the ultimate demon, Guizarme, you inferior beings. But bro is getting out mind gamed by a 10 year old child. Then again, this is a child that used to be a grown man with the mentality. Anyways, I feel like he's getting fucking beaten by a child. <laughs> You're more excited about fighting a 10 year old kid? Wait, what did he say there? The specific words. What does he get more excited than? <laughs> Demonic legions. Now, the key word? Uh, we know that there's like a nether world with demons and shit, right? Demonic legions may be a group of really powerful demons. I don't know. Maybe it's just a generic way of referring to demons. <laughs> there's a real one. Different enemies we're watching. Why did this 10 year old kid have a BBL? BBL Lloyd has bigger cakes than any other girls in anime we're watching. It just doesn't make sense. It really doesn't. There's no other girl in any of the enemies we're watching that has a bigger ass than this kid. Why? Okay, we're being very hidden. Stop monologuing! You're tripping flags! Okay. Spell As in, if we stab him with the spell taker, then maybe we 
take his armor's spell that took over Jade's body and we can seal him? I don't fucking know. Hey, take it. What spell are you taking? Though? Yeah, that's probably what we want to do, right? You want to analyze Jade? Oh, 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 what's we go and do it. We go and do it. These are other monologues or flags that just confirms that we are gonna do it. Oh, Grim! Okay, okay, he's been a bitch the entire fucking art, crying at sass, but it makes sense, right? This Gizarme compared to Grim, he's a terrifying force. But now, okay. Now he's gonna do it with us. Yeah. Let's go, Grim. Jade's will. The last thing he said. What does it mean? We're, an we're analyzing. Is it really gonna be fat, sad ending? Jade was setting something up, you know, before he passed on. Is this relating to that? More lines than Shinon from GGO. Straight up, BBL Lloyd. But he got this, right? So Jade's planted something. No, not the pads in this fucking kid's BBL. But he planted something before, before he passed on. Lloyd analyzed. And then? And then? Okay, no more golems needed. The soundtrack changed? Insane. I think we're about to get an insane scene, man. Understanding of magic. Call the cops. Call the fucking cops. Uh-uh. I am not getting in your fucking van. Nope. I don't care how much candy you got. Uh-uh. I ain't coming with you. Daddy told me don't talk to strangers. Nope. Nope. <laughs> A lion never questions why they have claws or fangs. Because they never felt inconvenienced. Wow. Wow. Does a lion care for the opinion of a sheep? I don't give a fuck. What a profound line. Are you the lion? Oh. He's comparing him to a lion. Never mind. Oh, I understood that wrong. The lion in that context was not Lloyd saying, Why are you asking me about this? That was Jade, but. We are weak and we have been inconvenienced, therefore we can think while the line is simplistic is his insult. The animation? Ooh. What a speech. This is probably the rest of you guys. <laughs> Most people are like, yeah, stop yapping! When you gonna go boom! Big attack! Yeah, I don't care. <laughs> stop monologuing! Three instant replay! What happened? What changed? Aru, Aru. Super lungs with magic. Okay, okay. Oh, he what? He poured it. We fucking you know League of Legends when motherfuckers flash, but you predict the flash and you get a fucking hook. That's one of the coolest shit. I play Blitzcrank. I'm I I'm like oh oh you gonna fucking you gonna flash and I fucking hook the other way. They flash that direction. It's the most like enlightening feeling. Like yeah, I fucking read you. Oh. This has to be a really cool manga scene, right? Sorry, manga panel. I don't 
no, you keep saying superior race this, elite that, but you are literally getting bodied by a 10 year old child human. I know he's not 10 year old actually inside, but come on. That's the most important thing. That was gonna be his downfall. How'd he know? I mean, it clearly relates to his porting and being able to analyze where he's gonna port to, but like, how did that all get set up? I don't know. Oh. Again! That's fucking martial arts. These are multiple kicks there. We're going Dragon Ball fighting now. This is straight up Dragon Ball yeah. fighting now. Okay, that was so cute. <laughs> this is very cute too. Woo! Little, little shit. <laughs> Jayma's like, no, I must calm down. I must calm down. And he's like, it fucking hurts. Stop it. Stop it. How did he just know? It's Jade. Jade's last word. Multiple speak. Multiple speak. Ooh. This is better than hollow purple? I don't fucking know. Red and green together. Before it was blue and red. I can't be making, you know, fucking Jujutsu Kaisen memes anymore. But red and red and green. Okay. Oh my god. You can see it from underneath. The hole that we created from before. That's the whole week. That sounds weird. But remember the I'm Atomic, you know, I am moment. And then we shot him through it. Holy shit. And then from underneath. <laughs> Actual Dragon Ball Z fucking fight scenes. This is amazing. By the way, the 10 year old kid you guys are fucking thirsting over in chat, you fucking degenerates. I hope you're 10 years old too. This, this is the 10 year old kid, by the way. What are you fucking doing? There's also really shitty people too. He's scared to as fuck. There's no one around you, bro. That's mean. That's mean. He just, you know, he loves magic, but he looks a little schizo here. Jade. Jade gives Lloyd some kind of blanket. Some kind of blanket that teaches the secrets of Shadow Wolf and how we can read the destination of the ports. I don't fucking know. We probably, we probably analyzed Shadow Wolf here. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Gizarme, you talked a lot. Atmospheric mana. What the fuck is that? Alright, bros got spirit bomb! Whoa, no way, mortal dark spirit! Okay, so the difference between a demon and a demon lord is being able to pull in atmospheric mana to create this fucking dark sphere. But next episode, this is gonna be a fucking cliffhanger. <laughs> cliffhanger. And that is today's episode of Seven to Show It Goddamn, goddamn, dude, it was a Dragon Ball Z fighting episode so many cool moments so many hype moments i think one of the things that a lot of people might look over of what lloyd was doing was you know how we're putting these clones in a barrier right lloyd's real self was just like using some sort of like invisibility stealth mode without casting a barrier so when kizarmi saw lloyd with the cut on his face he was like damn this crazy motherfucker really just did all that huh he didn't fucking use a barrier at all. There's also some really interesting moments of touching back to Lloyd's past and what his core motivation is, is this pursuit of magic. And that's what really inspires him to move forward. Yes, the final end product. 
is a zesty ass 10 year old kid with a BBL with the fan service fucking people up. But there is a, you know, a character deep inside that does care more about than just stuff like that. So I guess he was able to understand or analyze Shadow Wolf by conversing with Jade somehow. And then he can kind of already know where you're going to port to. So it's already over. But at the very end, Gizarme is putting this atmospheric mono bullshit. Death ball shit. How are we going to beat it with an attack even stronger, right? But that's it from me. If you're still here, if you didn't enjoy this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlists for more content. And until next time, take care.